So there's this little malady, okay? This little malady that, that some investors can have. And oftentimes it happens at the very early stages of investing. So let's just say you're a beginner. If I start asking you some questions and I go, so how long have you wanted to invest in real estate? And you say, oh my goodness, I've wanted to invest in real estate for 15 years. And how long have you been looking at properties? Oh, five years. And how many have you purchased? I haven't purchased any. And I say, but do you have the capital to purchase it? Oh sure, I've got the capital to purchase it. I just haven't bought any yet. I haven't found the right one. Let's say you haven't found the right one. Hmm, what could that mean? It could mean analysis paralysis. All right, you guys, I'm sure you've heard this. This doesn't just apply to real estate investing. Analysis paralysis can happen to lots of things in our whole life, but this is a really perfect one, okay? And I've seen it too many times. Now, don't get me wrong, listen, must we be super picky and discerning and dissect the property and the financial analysis and make sure that we've got the right asset to purchase at any given time to add to our portfolio? Of course we do. I'm telling you firsthand, I've also seen many, many investors who have played this more like a game, where it's more like this side hustle game, but they don't actually ever buy anything. And why? They get locked up, man. They get locked up. They get locked up with analysis paralysis. They can't make a decision. Yeah, I don't know if that cap rate's good enough, but I don't know. That roof, it's 10 years old. So what? I don't care if the roof is 10 years old. It means we got 10 more years left in that roof. And if that cap rate is at a six and a half, but you're looking for seven, how do we get it to a seven? You get my point. As someone, as a practitioner in this business every single day, okay, Again, do we rush people into making a big acquisition decision? Of course we don't. But listen, if you're gonna make a move in this industry, you gotta do it, all right? Get your team together, get your lender, get your good broker, get your lawyer, get the people together who are going to help mitigate this risk for you so that you can make sure that when you make that purchase decision, you're good to go. But don't get locked up in analysis paralysis, all right? I think there's people, I watch people that go, yeah, you know, I can't, find anyone who I want to date. And I go, well, maybe that's analysis paralysis. I can't find a house to buy. I can't find the job I want. I go, hmm, you might be suffering from that little malady over there called analysis paralysis. And sometimes folks, we just kind of got to get on with it. So investors, keep that in mind, get the right team around you, and then you won't suffer from this too badly at all. I hope, again, it's just something to think about. Many of you, this may not apply and that's okay, lucky you. Um, but in the meantime, I hope this is helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you don't mind. I sure would love it. I hope you're watching our videos. I hope there's a couple you know, little nuggets along the way that can help you guys out. If nothing else, I want you just thinking a little bit. That's really what my job is here, to train and teach and mentor and just get you thinking a little bit. So thank you so much for being with me. I hope you'll check out resultscommercial.com and join me for more videos. Thank you.